again, the World 1 title is on the line in this one. Extreme rules in this one. What? Pinfalls and submissions only. <laughs> Cameraman and the, uh, sorry, the music man's gotta go. Again, crowd firmly behind Rhino. And Kristoff right to the outside. Moving at his pace. Can you make some more noise over there? Working on it. The crowd despising the champion. He's knocked his hat off! So you get for sitting in the front row. Kristoff's trying to stall here. Rhino getting these people behind him. This guy's got it. He just loves it. Lock up now. And down he goes. Accusing him of pulling his hair. Rhino did no such thing. Jen John Finnegan checking to make sure that was not the case. Prince Kristoff looks for any avenue to gain his advantage. Of course, today, Prince Kristoff's total reign as champion, 2,309 days. That's six years, three months, and 28 days as champion. Nobody like it today in pro wrestling. Rhino has got the control here. Working on the arm, Kristoff trying to roll out of it. Hip up. You don't see that too often from Prince Christoph. Keeps it in the roller decks. Everyone has a roller deck. Yes, yeah, yeah, se second time tonight we're bringing up the damn roller decks. Thing that's been ex extinct since the 90s. Although, speaking of extinct, Prince Christoph's been saying he's gonna make rhinos extinct tonight. Where's Nick O'Shea in the corner? Nick Osia. Can't, can't nail down Nick that Osia. Can't nail down that last name. Nick Osia. Oh, Nick Osia. Just write it down a hundred times and you'll learn how to play. Taped up hand a rhino. That guy's just all power. Look at the size of those legs. That's why that's what makes the gore so dangerous. He gets all that force and all that momentum behind the gore. He's only wearing one knee pad? He yeah, only needs one. The other knee's super strong. The other one, it's a sweet spot. Don't you don't want to let strong. Prince Kristoff know you have a weak spot. Though. You gotta protect it, though. Prince Kristoff looking for the, uh, the power game here. I don't think he wants to do that. Rhino's going to play ball here at the bullpen. No, oh, of course. Should have known that was coming. Quite the right hand from Prince Kristoff. Right to the corner. Should be noted that right before this match we were able to tighten up the ropes, but it looks like these two have already loosened them up again. Off the ropes here. Oof. Yep. Goes for the hip toss here. Rhino blocks it. He's not gonna be able to move Rhino like that. Come on. Solid. Champion goes down, and there's a chop for you. Rhino, of course. Like how you saved yourself there by calling him champion. He is the champion. He is. Prince Kristoff, big hip toss receiving from Rhino. I was say he is the champion. Oh, yeah, here we go, folks. It is oh, over Oh, it's going to be already. over this quick? It is over already. Oh, Prince Kristoff rolls to the outside there. Smart strategy by the champion, even though you might not like it. Some people paid their entire ticket price just to see Oof. the gore. Just to see Prince Kristoff get his just desserts and eat a gore and be broken in half. Ooh, right into the chairs Oh, concerned here. mother moving the children's. Could go all over the building. It is extreme rules, folks. This is all legal. 
and Rhino is way more familiar in this territory than Prince Kristoff could ever pretend to be. Why would he agree right to this? To because he's cocky. He thinks he can compete with these guys in this kind of environment, in this style of match. He's that delusional. Oh, <laughs> little kid just lit up Prince Kristoff with the rhino shirt. Some, I think he took a tip or two from Tatanka previous. Yeah, he learned. There was enough in there. And now, oh, here we go. Now he's asking him to chop his hero, Rhino. Yep, not happening. Another booger from it. Oh, and a chop right to the chest. How dare you yell at children with, with friends in wheelchairs? Chris Kristoff really breaking all the rules here. Sorry, my uh, fellow commentator got up. He uh, saw quite a big one. Are they going to the back? They're going all over the place, folks. And Kristoff goes down to the ground. And Rhino is just toying with him at this point. Oof. I hope he paid the 99 cents for that water. Clean aren't free. It's a clean buck. That's coming right out of Nicosia's pocket. Come on, rakes the eyes. Nothing Finnegan can do, though. Yeah, it's all, it's all legal, and that's what sucks. That's why Prince Kristoff thought, that, oh, rakes the back. Did you hear that noise? Then he rakes the, the corner post. Bear claw grip, if you will. He's getting the grease off his hands. What is he doing with these I don't chairs? Know, I don't know if we're going to get return deposits on the uh, furniture. We already lost that deposit. Oh, and now... How did we already lose our deposit? Because they were breaking chairs earlier in the night. Oh, very good point. Solid point. Oh. I had one job to keep track of the deposits, and when we lost it, we already did. Chairs being stacked up here. What is that for? This hey, point. is that, uh... That's Nick O... Uh... Nick Osia. Osia, yeah. yeah. Big fan out there. He's sweating like a hog, though, that one. I'm trying to... Steal all the good air from the open door there. Yeah, he is. He's <laughs> siphoning it. What's going on? Look at suplex right on those chairs. If he hits this, this one's over. Nope. Rhino reversing it. Whoa! Oh. Take a prince home tonight with you. <laughs> well, almost landed front in that lap. That, that lady there. Yeah, those front row seats are well worth it. You get yourself a front row seat or a I'm June not, 18th event. I'm not a front row man. I'm, I'm a second row. I'm getting word right now that the winner of this match, the person who walks out as the World One Champion, will compete against Stevie Richards next month. How do you? How come you get the earpiece and I don't? Right? They give me one. You, 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 you bring me here. You have potato chips in front yeah, of my exactly. face. You, you got an earpiece. I'm not the one nibbling on potato chips the whole show. Me, oh, 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 big oh, back oh, body drop! Why? That, why? That was not a cannonball, and he is convulsing! Oh. First of all, it's not a nibble, it's a man true. You just oh. go to town with the Let's chip. talk about this match, though. Oh! Rhino. Right place at the right time that was able to avoid the offense if by the, Prince Kristoff. If the action stays this way, Prince Kristoff's gonna be eaten through a straw. It's Kristoff, not Kristoff. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, and Rhino hits that post hard. I was just pronouncing it in his native tongue. Prince Kristoff looking for something. He needs some kind of weapon here. And of course, the, the deposit chair is chair. at his leisure. Rhino looking for anybody to help out here. Maybe he needs that kid to come back in and chop Prince Kristoff again. That was a mean light shot. Him, light him up one more time. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a future ahead of him. Let's see that kid versus Tatanka next month. In the World One Little Brawlers program. Yeah. But what is Prince Kristoff doing? He's in the ring right now. Oh, no. Oh! oh he took a, a chair. chair to the eyeball! Oh, wait, here we go. We got a replay here. Full head of steam here by Prince Kristoff. 
took off flying and just ate that shit right to the side of the head. And now, whoo, oh, two only. Baited them in there, you saw that? Yeah, two count only, though, by Rhino. Rhino. I like the zoom in cam that we've been using here. Rhino took a beating on the, the outside there. Who's that stud? Now. A like oh, a low blow. Come on. Prince Kristoff will cut any corner to get ahead though. There's a reason he's been champion for six years, three months, and 28 days. I sound less like you're reading it though. Like you have it memorized. 2,000. Two. Oh. Clearly my comments didn't go over well with the man walking in front of the camera two, just a few two, seconds ago. Two count only there by Prince Kristoff. He almost had him. Now choking him on that middle rope. You see everybody's standing. Because they're not sure where this thing's going to end up. Also, their chair might have been throwing that giant pile that uh, well, Chris Christoph took in the back up. I don't know if you want to go to the furniture section. And now, choking them on the outside here. It's like when you buy a longboard from Home Depot. You're Ooh. just not going to go back and say, I'm going to get another one. Right to the side. Now, Nicosia taking the... Never mind everybody else who's standing. Nicosia plants his butt firmly in the middle of the chairs. <laughs> He wants to watch this one dead center. And I see the fans don't want to get extreme. Prince Kristoff have a teddy bear under there? Oh no. Hasn't Prince Kristoff also been known to use fire? No. Okay. I don't know why you would even suggest that. Because he's a magician. No, he's not. He's a magician in the ring, no. Prince Kristoff. He's a coward in the room. That's what he is. Oh, I don't want to say fire and say man for the last one. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to give them any ideas. He's 75% alcohol. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to swing for the fences. Ooh, shot to the midsection. Now if Rhino can swing around and get that cane. That'll do it. The chops have been plenty tonight. Oh, drop toes right on the chair. Face first. Face first, right across it. One, two. Right on the kick out that said left shoulder up just in time. I think I'm trying to make some room in the ring now. Trying to make sure we get our money back from that chair right there. It's a lost cause, Finnegan. Don't even worry about it. Lost the whole thing, you think, huh? Ooh. Right to the midsection. Oh! And another shot. Oh. Just choking him with that bamboo stick. Our cameraman blocking our hard cam here. He forgot where he put the hard cam, I guess. Cutting it like a. Crowd's like still a, behind Rhino. Like a slice of bread. French Christoph's gotta be wondering what it's gonna take. What does he need to do? to put away the ECW legend Ryan. The man who was the final ECW, ECW champion is now taking on professional wrestling's longest reigning champion to date. Oof. I'm getting the right shoulder up and just in time too. He was almost one second away. One second away indeed. Prince Kristoff. Now what's he looking for? He's looking for help, really, at this point. Oh, and again, choking. Rhino in the dead center of the ring. There is nobody here to help Rhino. He is on his own. Uh-oh, could be a little splash here. One of his patented signature moves. Trying to psych the crowd up. Oh, he slipped! <laughs> That sweat in the ring. <laughs> oh, 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 that will oh. hurt. I don't think Prince Kristoff was expecting that. That'll take a while to recover from. If there's one thing you never want to land on, it's, it's your gym chair jam. On your nuts. Oh, we, we could say Ooh, nuts. I thought yeah, we were gonna say nuts. gym jam. Oh. We, 
Oh, and <laughs> look at poor Finnegan. He's to sit there and watch it. I know, just taking, taking the pain to Prince Kristoff here. Did I see a smirk from Mr. Finnegan there? Probably. He's probably enjoying this. As are many of the fans in attendance. Oh, belly to belly. Ooh. Sending him across the ring. Oh, here we go, perfect folks. perfect scoring distance. It is time, folks. This is what everybody wanted to see. And here we go. Oh! Sidestep there. Hit the turnbuckle. Two and... One second away again. I thought that was it. I think Prince Kristoff thought that was it too. He was arguing with Finnegan. That's not going to get the job done. You got to stay on top of Rhino. You want this one won. I think I found out where Shields got all his arguing with the refereeing from. Those midnight sensations. They're just a bunch of arguers. Now, Kristoff. Oh, the side of the ear there. Kind of cauliflower the ear. Oh. Well, if you I thought Finnegan almost got it. Oh, oh, Finnegan oh, taking a big did. one. That's... This is the second time poor Finnegan's gotten TKO oh, no. on top of Finnegan. The second time poor Finnegan, all... Finnegan has gotten laid out tonight. It's been a rough night at the office. It's been a tough go for him. We're going to have to get another official out there. I hope Ref Bob didn't start undressing back there. We're going to need somebody to get back out here. I don't know, check on the official. Oh, come on. Oh. That's Sam Shields. We were just speaking. Oh. Sam Shields, of course, and now bringing the pain. He thought about ripping the shirt. You saw that, but then he realized it was his. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to waste the shirt here. Oh, and Rhino saying no. He still has some fight left in him. Are we going to see the gore? Oh! <laughs> He broke him in half, but Finnegan stole down! Finnegan stole down! No, no, here's right Bob! Five. One, two, oh! The, oh, Sam Shields! Sam Shields! Come oh. on! So close! We have seen it all tonight, folks. We've seen the reformation of the Midnight Sensations. Oh. We've seen Tatanka. And Ref Bob is arguing with Sam Shields on the outside. It's not going to do you any good because... Oh, you've got to be kidding It's an me. Extreme Rules match! He just hit Ref Bob. Right in the cranium. And Rhino right behind Sam Shields. Let's watch Sam Shields talking trash to everybody who will listen, and even people who will not. Sam Shields about to get a, a deposit, if you will. Oof! Caught it right to the top of the head. Rhino's chair had bet enough. Half? Probably. Rhino has had enough, and oh, come on. Oh! And conveniently, Finnegan. Finnegan making his way up, finally. Two. No. Come on. Prince Kristoff barely escapes. Stole it. He stole it. It was basically a handicap match there towards the end. Look, his bodies are everywhere. We got officials laid out. Chairs piled on top of one another. Midnight sensations everywhere. And Rhino, an ECW legend. The crowd on the 